Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and today we're gonna be doing some unboxing. Hey y'all, so today I am going to be unboxing a package that I got on Etsy. It is of the Tula Nova quilt pattern. Uh, it's an English paper piecing quilt pattern. And um, yeah, so before I start with that, I just wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers. Y'all know that I've been doing this road to 1000 subscriber uh series kind of a series where i just post every day until we get to a thousand subscribers today we are officially at 943 and we're getting closer and closer so um hopefully we hit it soon because i don't mind doing videos every day because i really enjoy doing videos but i really don't have enough content to do videos every single day so um i would like to put out quality content so anyway i have been getting into english paper piecing and if you watch my last video you know that i have tendonitis in my wrist so i have to uh stop hand sewing and really working this wrist too much for the next couple of weeks and before i found that out i had ordered the tula nova uh, pattern off of Etsy because when I wanted to do English paper piecing I knew off the bat that I wanted to try something that Tula Pink uh, created because in my eyes she's just like the queen of English paper piecing but um and I have a stash of um Tula Pink fabrics that I've been kind of like stashing away, not using, cause I didn't know what I wanted to use it on. And I think that this, I hope I didn't show my address, but this is the perfect way to use it if I can get it open. So let's see what it's about. So I've been practicing my English paper piecing um, from some patterns that I got on Etsy and uh, I've been enjoying it. So now that I kind of know what I'm doing, I'm ready to get started with this. So this is what I ordered. I'm going to tell you guys the shop name. I don't know what. Oh, hold on one second. The shop name is called By Mindy. And um, this is it. If I remember, I'll link it down below. If not, just go to Etsy and search that up. So her Etsy shop, her Etsy shop is by Mindy. Oh, she has a website, bymindy.com. Instagram is at by Mindy. Email. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna, this is too cute. I'm definitely gonna go follow her on all of her socials. And so I ordered, I wanted to get free shipping so I ended up ordering a couple of other things so I ordered some needles nifty needles which I paid three dollars for and I know my lighting is horrible but it's later on in the day and I don't have sunlight I usually use natural lighting to record I do have I do have ring lights I just don't feel like pulling them out okay the next thing I got was this so line uh sue daily fabric glue pin i thought it was the so line one is it not called that no i guess not but anyway it's the uh glue glue pin for english paper piecing i guess you could use it for any type of fabric stuff but this is what um people use for english paper piecing because it has like the fine tip but i have to say that i have been using just regular uh glue stick school glue stick and it has been working for me but it's just that the tip is so fat that um i i, I could see how it, i would rather use something like this it's more precise so i got that and then the quilt kit right here to lenova this is going to be so beautiful so I got to kind of look at my fabrics and see how I want to place them. I know that I, I do want to do some fussy cutting and get some of the faces. I have um, 
some of the fabrics that has the faces on them. And then these are all of the paper pieces that come with it. So, uh, let's see. So the finished quilt size is 56 inches by 56 inches. And let me just say that this is not a new quilt pattern. Like, I'm not sure when it came out, but so many people have been doing it online. Oh, let me tell y'all, I paid... I paid $10 for this glue stick. That's a lot, huh? I don't know. That's a lot for a glue stick. But it does come with a refillable. But um, I think I compared the price on Fat Quarter Shop, and I think it was comparable, so I, I ended up ordering it from the Etsy shop. And then I paid $33 for the pattern, and I did search around, and that was the cheapest that I could find the pattern. Um, I think because it's an older pattern, the price has gone up on it, but, um, let's see, but to find it, some people, like some places have the pattern with the paper pieces, but also the acrylic templates and those acrylic templates will hike the price up too. But, um, yeah, so I can't wait to get this started. I cannot wait to get this started. I'm hoping that it's like doable for me. I think it is though. It doesn't look that hard. Okay, um, I'm gonna actually go and get some of my Tula Pink fabric so I can show you guys some of the fabrics that I'm gonna start choosing from. So give me one second. Okay, this is my bin that I keep, oh! This is my bin that I keep all of my Tula fabric in. And this is the latest one that I got, which was in the Sew Sampler box in what, was it May, June? I don't remember, but this was that one. This was the most recent one. Was this Tiny Beast? What is the name of this? I don't remember. I don't remember. And then I have some of these where she came out with the, um, the uh, what is this line called? I never know. The Curiouser and Curiouser. So I have that. I have this one. I just have a lot of beautiful pieces. And if you know me, I go to my um, my craft thrift. And I have, they have a lot of... Uh, not a lot of tulip pink. But they have a lot of fabric from Fat Quarter Shop. Because they send their donations to this place. So every now and then, I'll find some tulip pink cuts. And I always pick them up because at the craft thrift, the uh, creative reuse that I go to, it does not matter what who the um, the brand is for, of the fabric. All the fabric is the same price, basically. So I have these pieces, which is some 108 pieces, but they're not big enough to back a quilt. Like this is three-fourths yard by 108 and um it was just three dollars so i have this one and i have another piece of that one which is a half yard so i have that and then i have this whole bag full of tula fabric i'm just gonna kind of show y'all some of them so i have so much to choose out of and it's like i'm not partial another piece of that to one um collection Cause I think all of her stuff pretty much goes together. So this was from the Curiouser and Curiouser. And we have Alice. So I would like to like get the face out. And then I have the Queen. Do I have the Queen? I do. Now these cuts, probably why they ended up at the thrift, but they kind of cut off here, but her face is still there. So I could, could probably try to get her in there some kind of way. And then all of these and yeah like i said everything it goes together so um it doesn't matter that everything is not from the same collection because it all goes together and i, I loved all of these little hexy is it hexagons i think it is one two three four the hexy patterns there's different colors of this and i love those and then I have this yellow, is this, 
Oh, this is the one with Atlas too. Okay. And then, let's see, anything different in here? The little cat. I have the little cat. And I don't think there's anything else different. Oh, I have the cat in yellow too. So, I want to take my time, map all of it out, and see like where I want to pl place everything. But I'm so excited to get this started. If you guys are interested at all, I can take you along with me while I plan out and kind of update you guys on the progress of the quilt. Now, like I said, I, I'm not going to be doing this the next couple of weeks because of this. But, ooh. but um, I am going to go through and start cutting. If I can, well... It depends because cutting with a rotary cutter does aggravate my wrist. But I can go through and start picking out which fabrics I want and kind of planning things out. Because I'm excited and I really want to get it started. So I wish I could start it now. But I'll be patient. But anyway, you guys, I know this video doesn't have a whole lot to it. But I was just really excited to get this pattern. And I'm so excited to be English paper piecing. So I wanted to show you guys that. And um, yeah, so we're still on the road to 1000 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching this and you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be tomorrow. So bye.